Hello, this is uh, Itsu. Okay, uh, Furpist, men Furpist mentioned something like a uh, Gunderson patent. And uh, I was kind of uh, confused a uh, short time because uh, I thought he was talking about uh, this patent from Gunderson. This solid state uh, electric uh, generator. Which has some uh, nanoperm core with holes in it and uh, with magnets. While I was uh, on the site already working on this uh, nuclear acoustic resonance setup. Which also turned to be uh, a patent from the name of uh, Gunderson, the same guy, I guess. So, uh, this is what I was uh, taking a look at. And this is some picture that was uh, manipulated by Verpis uh, of this patent, how to set up. And uh, my uh, my interpretation of uh, of this setup is that uh, I used a uh, PHO element. This is a uh, 40 watt, and I put it uh, in the middle of two ferrite bars, rods, small ones. We have some bigger ones on order, but uh, for the time being this can should be okay. There was a uh, neodymium magnet on both sides to attach the rods a little bit to each other. The PHO is not magnetic, so I need to have something to get it stuck there. And these are ceramic magnets. And this forms a, uh, a loop. I have a gap in between and these are also some ferrite bars, rods, the same make of the other ones which bridge the flux. So there is a flux going on and I have the PHO in the middle. And this is just a uh, rough test setup. I have a uh, pickup coil which I can move across uh, the length of this bar and it's uh, 93 milli Henry I measured some time ago 180 ohms and uh, I'm feeding this piezo with some clamp like uh, contacts with my function generator and I measure also the input with the uh, yellow probe and I have the output of this uh, pickup coil on the blue trace on the blue probe I feed the uh, PHO with a uh, 20 volt sine wave somewhere at uh, 55 kilohertz at the moment and these are the signals I am uh, picking up with the probes. The yellow is the uh, signal from this function generator into the PHO and blue is the uh, signal picking up from the uh, pickup coil. I can vary the frequency and we have a peak somewhere here which is at uh, 55.19 and if I move the coil I can also it's uh, very sensitive to the touch and when I touch it it can so it I can move it all along across the bar now at this uh, right side and I can move it 
to the left we have a peak there and all the way at the end there's also a slight peak but I'm stuck now at the end so we have one peak somewhere here as I try to put it there which is very close to the magnet and uh, I can tune it a little bit if I continue to sweep uh, downwards some bigger steps you can see that we have some dips somewhere in the feet from the function generator we are now at 46.8 there's a dip here, but uh, continue to get lower. There's another. Not sure what this blue trace is. There's some interference. Hmm, now it's gone. Okay, com continue to get lower in frequency, but. Uh, there are some peaks. I'm now at uh, 30 kilohertz. Also some ribble here, but also very marginal, small. The blue trace is at 1 volt per division. I'm now at uh, 20 kilohertz. 10 kilohertz. Now you can hear it. Okay, so the lower region there's not much activity. It also depends where the pickup coil is positioned, uh, so it's kind of tricky to find a. Okay, going up in frequency now. Some small peaks here, we are at 40 kilohertz again. This is the dip again at uh, 46. Continue. This is the peak we had before. 56 kilohertz continue up in frequency we have another dip here at uh, 121 kilohertz continue some dipping here somewhere as well, also another, another big dip in the 190 kilohertz. Another dip here. 256. Not a nice dip at uh, 390, but no uh, pickup coil signals. Four hundred and twenty seven kilohertz. Another dip here for seventy one. So not really something special. I will now move the pickup coil somewhere in the middle. And going now uh, backwards again from uh, what are we 580 kilohertz. To see if we can find another peak on the pickup coil. Could be I'm going too fast because it's sometimes very sharp peaks. We are now at 100 kilohertz something. Yeah. 
here's a nut, here's a dip again. We are at uh, 46 again. We have a dip, and we have a small peak in the blue trace, but nothing. Here's a small peak at uh, 41 kilohertz. So the most activity is uh, around 40 kilohertz, which is uh, where this PHO is tailored for, I think. Here's another peak at 37. So not much activity, I'm now at 15 kilohertz, 10 kilohertz and uh, going lower. Okay, going up again till where it was 37 kilohertz or something. Where we have this peak. Perhaps if I can move it with my, with the pickup coil I can position it somewhat better. This is this is the best I can get at the moment. I can tune it a little bit, perhaps. No, two volts peak to peak, 37 kilowatts. So perhaps I need much more power into this uh, PA Joe. I noticed uh, Verpies mentioned something like 100 or 200 volts. Um, but uh, okay, I will uh, post this and uh, expect some comments. Perhaps I'm doing something completely wrong and uh, this is uh, not workable. I'm not sure about the magnets there, if that's okay, or I need to clamp them more together at the PHO or whatever. Okay, comments are welcome. Thank you for watching.